Welcome to day 2 of our 90 days data analytics challenge. I hope day 1 was very explanatory where we talked about the introduction to data, data analysis. What is the difference between data analysis, data analytics? These were some of the things we discussed in day 1 challenge. And in day 2 challenge, we are moving straight into the career path in data analysis. I want you to understand the career path, what kind of role, where can you work, all of those things at the end of this 90 days data analytics challenge. Let's get straight into it. So first, let's talk about the overview of the data analytics career, right? After you're done with the 90 days challenge, you can work in specific roles or also upgrade your knowledge and work in some data field. So example, you can work as a data analyst. You can also skill up and become a data scientist. You can become a data engineer. You can become a business intelligence analyst, all right? So this data analytics course is the basics that you build up on from. So for example, if you're interested in like data engineering, you're interested in being a data scientist, after this course, then you can upgrade your knowledge to specify in those niche. Okay, so we also have entry level rules. At the end of this course, there are some entry level rules you can start applying for like junior data analyst, data entry specialist. So data entry specialists are just um, people that do data entry. You're basically just entering data for people, which is like a very basic task that you can, you'll be able to do after this course. You can apply for reporting analyst roles. You can also apply for research analyst roles. So these are some of the entry level roles you can apply to after this data analytics challenge. All right, so now let's talk about the um, career paths in data analysis, right? So there are specialized role in the field, right? For example, a data analyst can work ev anywhere and everywhere. I think I said that in our last discussion. And you can decide to be in a particular niche. You don't want to be everywhere. You don't want to analyze healthcare data today. Tomorrow you analyze e-commerce data the next day you analyze operation data or hr data you don't want to do all of that so you can specify right which one you want to specialize in so some of the um, specialized roles in this field are marketing analysts so you can work as a marketing analyst you can major in it and majoring in a particular niche what it helps you with is it helps you land the job faster right Imagine I'm specialized in a particular data analytics field. For example, let's say I am a healthcare data analyst, right? Every project I'm going to be doing that I will have in my portfolio will be based on healthcare, right? And if um if I get if I want to and if I want to apply to any jobs, I will be more focused. I will be looking out for healthcare roles, healthcare data analyst role, which will help me because when they ask me for my portfolio, the only thing they see in my portfolio is healthcare projects, healthcare projects. That shows them that I have passion for healthcare data analysis. And it makes more sense because whenever they ask you any question in that particular niche, you can answer it confidently. Compared to somebody that is doing e-commerce data analyst, healthcare data analyst, operation data analyst, the person will not be as specialized as you are. So these are some of the specialized roles that you can take a look at and just think about it or along the line. You don't have to rush. I just want you to have the basic idea. So along the line, you can you can still work on general data analysis projects for now. When you're done with the data analytics challenge, then you can decide that, okay, let me just focus on this. Let me specialize in this. I think I have a passion for fashion. Let me do fashion data analysis. So the only company you want to apply to is e-commerce fashion brands. You understand? You want to analyze their data. So these are some of the specialized role. And we, there are freelance and remote opportunities for you as a data analyst. So you can work on platforms, freelance platforms like Fiverr, Upwork. You can also get contract jobs from companies globally. So personally, I've gotten contract jobs from companies globally. So it could be a one month, two month contract, three month, six month contract, depends. And sometimes they might even extend your contract if you did a great job. So yeah, you can get contract jobs and you can also get remote or on-site on positions in data teams, right? So that's like you being in office, like you have to go to office every day. Um, 
for your job, right? Some people actually prefer to be in office, but somebody like me prefers to be at home. I like the remote job lifestyle, right? But I was on live section the other day and some people were saying, oh, I want to, I'm in my prime. I want to chat with people. I want to meet people. That's totally fine. Everyone has their preference and um, that's okay. So um, you can decide if you want a remote position or an on-site position. So you strategically target your application to companies that hire. For example, me that I want a remote job, I only apply to jobs that are fully remote, right? If you want an on-site job, you can also apply to jobs that are on-site. Basically, that's how it works. So um, we are done with this series. This is a very short series. I just want to enlighten you. Um, so I want you to research um, one of the roles that we've mentioned so far to see if there's any you'll be interested in. Let me know which one sounds like your favorite in the comments below. And you can also research on other specialized role in data analysis. I didn't list everything because it's a lot, right? I just listed few. So you can research on um, other um, specialized data analysis role. And let me know which one is your favorite in the comment section. Now we've come to the end of this day two challenge. Let's prepare for the day three challenge where we're going to talk about the data analysis process. So for us to analyze data, what is the process that we go through? So from the stories I've heard, a lot of people will finish their training at a tech school or whatever, and they still come to my DM and say, please, I don't even know. I have a data set, but I don't know what to do with it. So tomorrow we'll be discussing how you can start a project. When you see a data set, what is the first thing you do? After you do the first thing, what next? what's the next step? What is the step after that? What is the step after that? So after this 90 days challenge, you will not be looking for anybody to say, oh, please, eh, I have this data. I don't know where to start. That is not going to be your problem at the end of this 90 days challenge. Okay, so let's get ready for tomorrow, guys. I'm super proud of you for making it to day two of this data analysis challenge. And I can't wait to see what we are going to achieve in the next 90 days. All right, I, there's a paid community where you can join live classes. You can have mentorship, one-on-one -on -one mentorship. You have any question, you cannot self-learn, but you want to join like a community. Yeah, there's a paid community. You can check the link in the description for that. Bye.